Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. A huge step forward for downtown Toledo. Good evening, I'm Sean Hegarty, in for Lee Conklin. And I'm Christian Brown. Just moments ago, ProMedica officials cut the ribbon for its new headquarters downtown. There's been a lot of excitement and anticipation for what this will do for the downtown economy. And 13 ABC's Diane Larson has been at the new headquarters all afternoon, giving you that first-hand look at the ceremony in the new facility. She joins us live now, Diane. That's right. The folks are now just milling about and going to be here probably till about 8 o'clock tonight. There were 400 people at this official ribbon cutting ceremony today, even though some 1,000 employees from 25 different locations began moving into the downtown steam plant and the old key bank building, which is called the Junction. They began doing that at the beginning of August and were doing it pretty much throughout this whole month. And this entire journey started at about three and a half years ago when ProMedica CEO Randy Ostra decided that they wanted to consolidate their headquarters into one place. He told us that they looked first at uh, uh, an existing hospital and wondered if that would be big enough. They decided fairly quickly that that wouldn't happen. Then they looked into the suburbs and then they decided no, the place they wanted to be was downtown Toledo. They purchased this steam plant back in October of 2015. That's when the groundbreaking occurred. And here we are, August 31st, 2017, with the official ribbon cutting ceremony marking the opening of ProMedica's downtown headquarters. A number of dignitaries were here speaking at that ribbon cutting ceremony, including Toledo's mayor and our own Amy Montgomery, also down here with more about that. Amy? No, we should say up here. I'm, I'm up here on the second floor of the steam plant as we're kind of getting a bird's eye view of people who are here seeing this building for the very first time. You can see them down here, like you mentioned, they are mingling, they are getting a look at what this has to offer, and they're taking pictures really impressed by the history that's been preserved here. We're talking about some of the original brickwork, and then all the way at the ceiling, that's the original crane that has been in this steam plant basically forever. But as you mentioned, we did speak with the mayor today, and she says that it really goes beyond preserving the history here and that it's such a huge deal for the city of Toledo that ProMedica calls downtown home. It's important that we think about anchor institutions being um, the spot where everything else can grow and blossom. And what we have today here is just that. And again, a lot of these people, they're going on their own tours of the new steam plant building here. Many of them, it's the very first time that they've been able to take it in after all of the years of talking about it. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to be speaking with one of the heads of this project about what it means to be here today. Diane. All right, Amy, thanks very much. And Amy says uh, she's going to take us on a VIP tour coming up at 6 o'clock. But again, the ribbon cutting today on the opening of the old steam plant, which is the new ProMedica downtown Toledo headquarters. As we said, about 1,000 people now converging to work in this new downtown location, along with the Key Bank building, which is they call the junction. Randy Ostra, during the opening ceremonies, or the ribbon cutting ceremonies, talked about the need actually for more space. So we'll be following that part of the story as well in the weeks and months to come. For now, I'm Diane Larson reporting live downtown, sending it back to you folks in the studio. All right, thanks, Diane. Now to the latest in the Gulf Coast. Harvey is now blamed for at least 31 fatalities.